Hello everyone and welcome to OST Live, a weekly broadcast on blockchain, branded tokens, and token economies built on OST. Simple Token, also known as OST, is a public blockchain platform that allows businesses to launch their very own branded tokens. And some of these businesses include OST's partners. In the past, we've announced partnerships with Unsplash, Paskit, and Animoca Brands. And on this episode, we're very excited to announce our latest partnership. This partnership is with MedApps Plus. With it, which is a uh, Korean company. And with us today, we have Jisun Lim, which is uh, MedApps Plus Chief Strategy Officer. And we also have our very own Chris Dark, which is our Chief Commercial Officer at OST. Guys, welcome to OST Live. Thanks, Jose. Hi. Jisun, uh, MedApps Plus has been around for nearly 10 years now. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the company's history? Sure. So, uh, Medaps is a fintech company which has its uh, headquarter in Japan, Tokyo, and also listed in Tokyo stock market. Uh, Korea and Japan are the dominant area where Medaps are running businesses. And from 2017, we are very aggressively integrating blockchain and crypto finance into our existing businesses, uh, with the Korean subsidiary Medaps Plus being center. Great. So what are some services that uh, MedApps Plus provides? So uh, MedApps is running the uh, biggest mobile coupon-based payment infrastructure in Korea, uh, which generates about uh, 150 million USD revenue and uh, more than 34,000 offline stores integrated. So MedApps uh, also has top-tier payment gateway in Japan as a subsidiary. So from the last year, we started to incorporate cryptocurrency into the existing business infrastructure we have. So uh, we also issued the first token called PlusCoin via Korean entity. And now we are going to launch a new fiat to crypto exchange, which is going to bridge crypto and fiat economy in e-commerce e uh, within Korea and Japan area. Great. Can you tell us about the reach of uh, MedApps Plus? How many people uh, are users of the application? How many people does uh, this application reach? Uh, uh, as our statistics of 2017 describes that uh, the mobile coupons being issued by our company, is uh, the, the transa transactions are being happened about 10 million times annually, and which means uh, uh, given the number of population of South Korea, 50,000, uh, one of five people using our mobile coupon annually, at least. So uh, the revenue is, like I described, is about 150 million US dollar. And uh, so, so because we are mostly providing a B2B uh, modules and uh, also running that way, so we don't have the right number of the our B2C customers. but. Uh, bec uh, because we also have a mobile advertisement network, we uh, ha we can say that we manage it about uh, two uh, two hundred thousand uh, monthly users basis. Before getting into the blockchain side and use cases uh, for a token in the platform, Chris, can you provide some background uh, on the coupon industry? Uh, what is the industry currently like? And uh, why is it ready to be disrupted by tokenization? And what impact can blockchain have on this industry? Uh, yeah, sure. So, I mean, the coupon industry has been around for a long, long time. Um, you know, coupon clippers, cutters, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, we're talking many, many decades all across the world. And whilst there are some local variations uh, to how, how they work, uh, it's relatively consistent. Uh, you know, coupons are often have been you know, traditionally have been, you know, cut out of magazines or papers and, you know, uh, may well be, uh, could maybe be uh, given from one person to another in terms to allow trading. Um, but more recently, of course, it's moved much more um, mobile based and digital. Um, and so what's, I think, very interesting about um, moving this onto a blockchain is that you can start having um, you can leverage technology like called non-fungible token, so NFT technology to allow, in effect, to program each coupon to be different. Um, so instead of me sending out, you know, there's a coupon in a newspaper that reaches a million people and a million people cut it out and it's identical for all the million, you can start to uh, customize them uh, on an individual basis. And also it allows 
for um, trading of coupons. Um, you know, I might have earned a coupon to spend in Ikea, uh, but I actually I don't want to go. Um, and so it can form a much more seamless way to uh, trade them between users. Um, and so I think the players like NetApps who provide the most kind of customer-centric and flexible service uh, for their customers will really benefit from this. Great. Those are some interesting points uh, I thought that you brought up in regards to the non-fungible tokens. Um, so what are some of the issues or problems uh, that blockchain solves or, or that, that are solved when implementing blockchain? Okay, so I can take that. So, you know, for example, and, and again, I'm not trying to claim this is completely new um, in terms of, you know, that there are you know, coupons have, for example, been personalized on paper, uh, might be sent in the post to people individually. Um, but um, if, if I can, in effect, program a coupon, so I could be a really, really good customer of a certain brand, and they want to give me, you know, a, an extra amount of savings or coupon buying power or whatever you want to call it, um, you know, versus someone else. So, again, that can be done very easily. Um, now, I've got that um, extra spending power, and, and I, I might not want to be uh, actually going to that shop this month. You know, maybe it expires then. And so I'd like to be able to get value from it because I've earned it and maybe trade it with someone else. Um, so it, it just allows for a much richer ecosystem um, and much more kind of interoperability um, between uh, coupon programs. Great. And uh, now that we have some background on the couponing industry, uh, Jason, can you provide us uh, you know, some details on your plans or, uh, or the plans for MetApps Plus in regards to uh, creating and implementing a branded token on the platform? Uh, what are some use cases uh, for tokenization and the token itself? So, uh, the, uh, as we did, dealt with digital coupons for a long time, uh, the, we are seeing, uh, so the digital coupon is basically a digital representation of rights to redeem certain goods. And this is bas basically in the fintech area. And that also means that it is uh, exposed to uh, security risk as well. So as a, a entity running a coupon based payment network as a centralized network system, we are also uh, we were also being exposed to that kind of threat, and we really wanted to leverage the technology of blockchain to uh, migrate uh, our business network onto one step uh, a higher level, and we found out that uh, using public Ethereum network has a lot of uh, limitations, but. OST Mosaic technology uh, and on the UST, OST auxiliary chain, uh, that will definitely make a smooth business level adoption of the blockchain to our digital coupon system. Great. Some uh, good points that you brought up there. Uh, Ethereum would definitely not be able to uh, handle the amount of transactions uh, on the MetApps platform since uh, you guys do have uh, so many transactions and, and users, daily active users on the platform. Um, so going on to the partnership with OST, uh, Jisun, can you tell us uh, uh, about how or why OST made a good fit uh, with the partnership? And Chris, maybe you can add on uh, of why MetApps Plus uh, makes a good fit for a partner uh, with OST. Uh, sure. So shall I, I can take the second question. I think uh, Jisun's covered a lot of the first. So. Um, for us, and this, this also links to, I think, you know, the, the Korean market for us as well. So, um, you know, if, if we start with the Korean market, I, I read the other day that one in three salaried workers in Korea own some form of cryptocurrency. This is way, 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 way ahead of anywhere else. I mean, uh, you know, uh, th there's a pretty high penetration in somewhere like Japan, uh, but compared to uh, Western markets, this is just on a completely different level. Um, and so just adoption of um, uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency is much, much higher. Um, you know, of course, in Korea, there's a lot of uh, large companies um, you know, who have, have um, got you know, enough scale to really make a difference. And large enough that, to Jisun's point, they would, as soon as they launch such a, like, for example, their coupon program would be breaking Ethereum. Um, and whilst you know, over the next few years, there's a lot of technical upgrades to Ethereum that will help it scale, you know, we, we set out to build um, uh, with, with Mosaic a scaling solution for now based upon what Ethereum can do. Um, so for us, it's a great opportunity to work with a major player in, the, in, in frankly, the world's leading market for cryptocurrency, which is Korea, um, with a really great use case, with an existing business that has 
know, over $100 million of revenue. Um, and um, this marked kind of, you know, we're going to be putting a lot more uh, time, energy, and effort into the uh, Korean market um, over the uh, subsequent months. Great. So going back to use cases, uh, just soon, can you provide some examples of a use case uh, for the token uh, in regards to what a user can do with it, uh, such as spending or earning uh, transactions? So in our perspective, uh, we are uh, trying to uh, minimize the uh, uh, the minimize the change of the user experience because uh, digital coupon has its uh, limitation but uh, it is the most uh, mm, the people are very much getting used to using using this kind of barcode or QR code based digital coupons so what we want to uh, change on to, on this ecosystem is adopting uh, OSD technology and uh, making the uh, backend the security more secure and also uh, securing the uh, very uh, safe transaction between uh, people of the digital coupons so there will be no double standing pro double spending problem so uh, we uh, already have a b2c mobile application which can uh, purchase and use the coupons uh, on offline stores and uh, also for online goods so uh, we are going to integrate uh, some kind of ethereum wallet onto that uh, application and if we start issuing nft tokens based on ost then we are going to integrate that feature onto our application so uh, mobile users can seamlessly seamlessly use both uh, legacy digital coupons and ost based coupons as well great and for the listeners out there metapps plus is an existing application uh, in korea just soon where can people find out more uh, about the application well uh, so uh, Meetups is still dealing with uh, most of the operations with B2B, but uh, we can introduce definitely uh, some uh, B2C products. So yes, yeah, Smart Plus is a, a Korean application which uh, any Korean people can download from Google Play or Apple App Store. And uh, we are going to soon launch a new exchange which can which uh, is a fiat to crypto exchange on October 30th, which is very soon. So yeah, uh, we uh, are announcing our uh, new product releases and everything on our official website and also our token channel. So yeah, please keep watching uh, for the disruptions we are going to make in this industry. Great, and uh, uh, we'll we'll end the podcast with this last question, uh, Chris. Does OST have uh, any future plans in Korea? Uh, yes, for sure. So we will be um, uh, hiring uh, some um, uh, business development and also um, what we call blockchain strategy consultants uh, who work with our partner companies uh, to uh, design the token economies and, and really go live. So we're going to be, I'm going to be spending a lot of time there. And um, as I said, it's really, it's by far the world's most advanced country when it comes to cryptocurrencies. So, um, you know, we think it's a very, very logical place to put a lot of time, energy, and effort, and um, you know, leading the charge with you know, a, a partnership with scale of this one is uh, fantastic. So really uh, looking forward to it. Great. And for the listeners out there, I highly recommend uh, checking out the press release post uh, that's posted on OST's Medium page. It's also linked down in the description below. Um, I, I highly recommend going through it. And uh, if you want to stay tuned for updates in regards to OST's latest partnerships, uh, be sure to follow OST on Twitter or Telegram. as uh, Those are our ways to communicate the latest updates in regards to our project. And so, yeah, uh, just soon. And Chris, thank you guys for joining us on OST Live today. Thank you, Japan. Thank you. Thank you.